Virgins, what's going on with you virgins? This is your June 15th to June 30th Terrascope. And the reason that I didn't have to get up and press a record because look who's here, mama. Say, hey, Felice. Hi. It's Evolve. It, tell them your station. Evolve Butterfly Intuition. <laughs> hey. All right. Bye, Felice. Bye, I'll find you later. She's about to hang. I can't wait to watch this reading. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. So, virgins, virgins. Ooh, I see a new job here. Uh, text me when you get home, okay? Uh oh, sorry, virgins. Oh, here we go. So, virgins, I saw a new job. Excuse me, you guys. Excuse me. I feel like I'm missing something. I should have did this, but uh, police had to go real fast. Just really quick, really quick. Let me just. Okay, you know I gotta look good for you, virgins. Okay, let's get going. So virgins, yeah, at the bottom of the deck, I see the Ace of Wands. So some of you could be having some real good sex. So, so, okay, I did. Okay, don't make me get up from this table. Do not make me get up from this table. I saw the Ace of Wands. You ain't fooling nobody. Okay, somebody is hot to trot, and they ready to get the freak on. To get the freak on. Get your freak on, baby. Okay, baby. I see some of you are trying to keep your options open right now. Some of you could be starting jobs, new jobs, and you are going to be going into the induction phase of the job, or you know, maybe you have a new career path and you're going to be um, acquainting yourself with this new career path. I really do feel that a lot of you are going to be elevated to higher levels. Uh, in your career path. Okay, so let's see what we have for the Virgos. Virgos, I think I want to use the brown girls to. Re oh, wow, we have the lovers at the bottom. Some of you are dealing with the Gemini sun, moon, or rising, and it looks like you just may be lovers soon. Page of Pentacles. So some of you may be getting some good news concerning finances really soon. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see what we have for Virgos. 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 All right. We have the Four of Cups at the heart of the matter. So there could have been a missed opportunity. Okay. With someone who, well, I mean, you know, honestly, you could kind of give or take them. You could kind of take them or leave them, right? You know, your crowning feeling is the justice card. So some of you could be dealing with a Libra, okay? Or some of you could be having some legal situations that you need to deal with that you're trying to resolve. Looks like justice is going to be on your side. But others of you, let's lay out all your cards and see. Ooh, the Hierophant. Ooh, the Queen of Cups, Judgment, the Page of Cups, Death, the Chariot, and the Six of Coins. Good news about money. I really feel like more than anything, Virgins, I see success just like the Capricorns with your work situation. Okay, I see a lot of success with work. But... What I feel is here is there could have been a missed opportunity with someone who you want to marry, you know, like you want a relationship with someone. They could have Cancer Scorp uh, Scorpio or Pisces, or you could have Cancer Scorpio or Pisces placements. Also, you could have strong Libra or Taurus placements. But what I see is that there was some type of missed opportunity with someone who maybe had more than one person. He, they could possibly have been married, all right? Or like with someone in the capacity that it kind of seemed like they were married. This coffee cup keeps on spilling. I don't want it to spill on my cards. Okay. So 
Yeah, so what's standing out for me here more than anything is the six of coins with the justice card. So you may in fact, um, let me turn this off Virgos. Okay, let me turn this off. Sorry about that. That doesn't look like it's off. Okay, now it's off. So more than anything, what stands out, virgins, is the six of coins with the justice card, which lets me know that some of you could be getting a settlement. All right. Some of you could be getting married with the Hierophant and the Justice card here as well. Some of you could be moving into a major relationship. Okay. All right. Now let's do some clarification here in regards to the overall energy. What is the overall energy for the next two weeks? I like how Felice does that. She did a reading here for me today. I really liked it too. She's like, let me tell you what the cards are. And no, don't tell me the cards, just do the reading. <laughs> All right. Overall energy for Virgos. The next two weeks are, is the Wheel of Fortune. So fortune is going to be on your side in a massive way. You will move forward aggressively in your life, maybe towards your destiny or someone who you're destined to be with. This could be, um, you'll be having stronger dealings with a Scorpio, an Aquarius, a Taurus, or a Leo, right? But I see you moving towards your, your destiny in a very big way. All right? Okay, let's see what else we have here. So that's the overall energy. The Four of Cups is in the heart of the matter. Hey, Pam! Can you close your door, please? Yeah. Thank you. I hear the family feud down there. All right. All right. Yeah, so there's some of you have multiple people in your life that you're dealing with right now. Okay. But some of you could be kind of closing in on knowing that you want a partner. And you could have been dealing with someone who has multiple people in their lives. Possibly somebody who had a drinking problem. Okay. All right. So I do feel like you are going. So you, I don't know why they tell. Okay. So some of you were dealing with multiple people in your life. And I feel like you're going to get justice. Like there's going to be some really big opportunity or some type of major offer that's getting ready to come in to your life. But it kind of looks like it's financially based. Like I feel like for some of you, your love life feels a little like uh, nobody's really turning me on. There's a lot of offers, but nobody's really kind of doing it for me here. Um, I do feel like somebody is getting ready to take care of, like maybe sign some legal documents for a home, maybe a new home. All right. You may be getting ready to be an entrepreneur and you're signing some documents or getting things together, legislating things for a project. Okay. For the next two weeks. Marriage is on your mind. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So nobody's really marriage is definitely on some of your mind now. Now, others of you have narrowed down your options to one person. This is the will of fortune is taken over. Right. And it looks like somebody is seeing you as marriage material or somebody who they take seriously enough. Is this getting clear? somebody who they take seriously enough to consider marriage, or you are starting to really hone in on this whole idea of permanent commitment. Now, maybe you've never quite done that before 
and that's the energy that you're moving into because you're coming out of fixations and obsessions some of you could be dealing with the cancer scorpio or pisces you could have possibly been proposed to with this gold ring justice and the higher font here this looks like a, maybe like the libra reading a little bit i suggest you go see a libra some of you are dealing with the libra okay some of you are in strong relationships with the libra whether it's platonic or romantic there is a libra that will be impacting your life okay and others of you have a taurus that will be impacting your life but some of you could be filing for bankruptcy with the judgment card here some of you could be having some credit problems too like equifax there maybe your credit score is dropped because of some derogatory payments or you're going to hear something about that really soon but i feel like um, you're going to make a judgment maybe about um who you're dating because you really are coming in here knowing what you want like you're coming in here knowing that you want a full-fledged relationship with someone that's going to be long term and that is going to satisfy you even with your purpose okay but anyway i feel like you are coming in um, as the page of cups you're wanting to be creative the next two weeks I see you want an offer maybe from a Scorpio okay and I feel like the next your person is coming in as having options or your person can be coming in as someone who is already married okay or already living in a situation with maybe I don't know with who could be with anybody really um, but a Libra is coming in very strongly here for some of you. A Taurus, a Scorpio is coming in kind of strong. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a Leo. But it could be anywhere, anyone, right? So, yeah, so I feel like you are just letting a missed opportunity go by because you feel like that's the fair thing to do for yourself because you have marriage on your mind. And it appears that although you are deeply in love with someone, I feel like you're going to be making a judgment to not work on or build something with someone else anymore. All right. Because you don't really feel like they meet your needs. They make you weak. Like this person in within your life, you're not getting strong in this relationship for some people feels like it's not going anywhere for those of you who this resonates. And it seems like for some of you, you're dealing with someone who is letting go of somebody else or somebody who has other options. Okay. Um, uh, your final card, though, is the six of coins with the three of wands, which means your ships are going to be selling in you are going to start seeing the results of your labor you are going to start seeing a change in your life very soon the devil somebody is fixated on you okay i see you perhaps dating going out with multiple people waiting for mr right to come in and with the wheel of fortune i do feel like you're going to be doing things to propel you forward to a happier relationship because right now I just kind of feel like some of you are just kind of biding your time the magician this is card is ruled by mercury right so the card is ruled by mercury and mercury rules what mercury rules um uh, 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 Gemini and Virgo people make up shit with the cards you know they add other things in it and that's okay because the cards are going to respond to how you respond but this is Mercury and it rules Virgo and it rules Gemini so some of you could be dealing with the Gemini or you yourself Virgo you're going to be manifesting um, stability maybe manifesting a husband I do see a husband or someone very permanent in your life being manifested right now. You could be doing things to propel your, um, your luck forward. Like you could be on Tinder, you could be on Match, you could be on social apps, you could be telling your friends in the next two weeks, hey, I'm single. 
and and you know you might really make that something that you're letting people know I'm single and if you're not single then that maybe this doesn't supply but I see a relationship or stability being manifested right now and I see um, you in your element I see that some of you kind of just want to have some fun or you want to get to slowly know someone so that this person is your friend first okay because the three of cups you know represents friends some of you could be dealing with more than one person but what is manifesting is a permanent solid relationship also the king of coins is here to let us know that somebody means business about stability in their own lives also for you guys to have the king of coins crowning you it either is representing is stability either in the form of a person in the form of your business or in the form of your mind some of you are manifesting stability in your life because you are creating it in your mind but it looks like it's somebody who you want to um, get to know or you want a friendship with this person first all right so I see that you are going to be because you are fortifying yourself with opportunities and opening yourself up maybe some of you are putting yourself out there the way you haven't been putting yourself out there before you are going to be coming out of um, a place of hiding you're going to put yourself out there and I see options coming to you right with the overall energy with the wheel of fortune so I do see stability coming to you in a, in a manifested form that you created look at you you're coming in as the empress okay the empress is very beautiful she's usually a married woman but if you're uh, you could be dealing with the libra who's married a taurus who's married um but you're coming in as beautiful elegant desirable and um like you see, it's interesting, when you were dealing with the former situation, it brought the worst out of you. Whoever you were dealing with before, you know, it made you weak. But who you are now and who you're going to be dealing with, and some of you already have this person in your life, this person makes you strong, okay? Now that you have your sights on manifesting stability in your finances and manifesting stability in your emotions, it seems like different options are coming and they treat you elegantly. Somebody is getting ready to treat you like a lady. All right. Um, yeah, some of you are going to be dealing with the Sagittarius. That looks really good. And this is what you want for yourself. Ooh, and the answer, Virgo, is the Ace of Cups, a new love coming to you, okay? So I see the beginning of something very beautiful happening for you as a result of you um, not allowing yourself to be um, drawn back into a situation that wasn't giving you what you want. So we're going to take a look at where this relationship goes. But first, let's take a look at how your person is going to be viewing you from June the 15th into June the 30th. Okay, because what I see is a new relationship that looks like it has some very strong possibilities of being rooted. And, I mean, this is absolutely in love. Some of you are going to be falling in love with the Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but with anybody, really, okay? Because that I know I have a Virgo friend that that doesn't resonate with, but that's what I see for the people who are watching today. But, you know, take what you like and leave the rest. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Readings are not going to resonate for everyone. And if they don't, you don't have to tell me. All right, virgins, let's see how your person is going to be viewing you from June 15th, June 15th to June the 30th. How is your person going to be viewing you from June 15th to June the 30th? All right, Virgos. June 15th to June the 30th. Virgos, getting to know each other very soon. This is how Virgos persons are going to be viewing them from June 15th 
until June 30th. Okay, first card. What do we have? This could be the one. Wow. Next card, free yourself. So somebody is going to be seeing you in very high regards, especially if we get this amazing card called This Could Be The One. And at the bottom it says you've already met the romantic partner that you seek. Wow. So somebody is going to be looking at you in very adoring eyes and really esteeming you higher than anybody else that's in the mist okay and yeah this could be the one the other thing is you know your person might feel like you have somebody in your past that you're still holding on to and they may feel like you need to free yourself from that and take control back of your life but they're viewing you as somebody who could be the one. And I remember the overall energy from this reading is the wheel of fortune. Okay, that still applies. So destiny, fortune happening in a good way. So it kind of feels like the next batch of people that you meet, Virgos, those of you who are single and you want to meet somebody, um, the next batch of people that you meet, it just kind of looks like it's going to be a little on the positive side. Okay. All right, so the Ten of Coins. Wow. All right, the Eight of Coins and the King of Swords. All right, so some of you could be dealing with the Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. Okay, now I feel like the King of Swords is positively um, dignified in this deck. I think it's kind of just coming in to let us know that I feel like somebody might propose to you some of you might get some type of proposal. There's some type of proposal, some type of offer coming, right? And it looks like it's more than just sex. You might be dealing with someone who's like, you know what? I don't want to just have sex. I want to have something solid and something that's going someplace, right? So the Ten of Coins um, represents how this person is viewing you and that's someone who's beautiful someone who's naturally beautiful, who maybe has a lot of um, material things, someone who could be materialistic, someone who's doing very well for themselves, someone who they take seriously because the Ten of Coins connote legacy, family dynasties, family legacies. So somebody wants to build a legacy with you and they see you as a person that they want to maybe have um, a family with, children if that's appropriate. Um, they want you to be introduced to the family. So they view you as somebody that they're taking seriously. Okay, this is Sun in Virgo. So yeah, this person is going to be bringing out the best in you. They teach you. They're going to have you come up to a higher level in what you expect from yourself, what you expect from others. Okay, but this word, this person is ready to roll. This is the eight of coins. They're ready to roll up the sleeves and do the necessary work in order for this connection to be successful. Okay, we have the eight of coins there. Somebody means business about you and they view you as somebody that they want to take seriously and seriously work on a situation here. Otherwise, they're ready to walk. Okay, let me clarify this King of Swords energy here, but they really do feel like you could be the one. But again, I think this King of Swords is talking about freeing yourself. Some of you are already or some of you love someone who's already in a situation. Okay, others of you feel, I mean, some of you, this, the person that you're with, a, with that they have a triangle, they really feel like you should free your own self from this situation. Okay, right? But Virgos, I feel like this person kind of sees you as someone that they can spend forever with who they want to build something solid with. Okay, now this depends on what side of the uh, coin that you're on. All right? There's one side of the coin where if you are like um, this could, could possibly be a situation where there could be more than one person here that's involved. It could be a triangle that's going on here. And um, 
you know, somebody could still be married, somebody could be with somebody and they're trying to have a relationship with someone else. So in some instances, what this is, this is saying is that there is somebody who has already found the person that they're going to spend the rest of their lives with. And that's where they're going to divert their energy and building um, their lives with. And with the person that's on the outside looking in, we have the King of Swords and Free Yourself. And they look at you as, um, you know, uh, as someone that is not the person that they're building their lives with. Okay. It depends on where you fit in the spectrum. But um, for others of you, it could be a sister wife thing. All right. And the person really does see you as someone who um, could be the one. And they see you as someone who you know, especially if you're in a monogamous relationship and you know you are the main person, like you live there, or you know, you're wearing a ring, you're carrying the children. Well, actually, that don't mean anything, but um, you are, you know, they have a ring on your finger. <laughs> um, they put a ring on your finger, or they're there, you know what I mean? Like they're there for you. This person. Um, wants to be there for you and they view you as the woman that they want to come home to. That's how they're viewing you. All right, so virgins, I'm going to finish this reading at Vimeo and at my website. And we're going to explore this more in depth. And we're going to ask, how does this person feel about you? What do they want to say to you? What their next actions are going to be? And advice from Tarot and the outcome. Okay. All right, virgins. This was a great reading because the wheel of fortune is going to be propelling you forward. And things and you know what I love about the wheel of fortune is that when fortune is on your side is fixed there's fixed fortune on your side right it's like things are going to just be getting perpetually better and better and better so it looks like you know there was a situation where there were multiple people involved some of you could be getting a divorce because of um or you could have gotten a divorce or somebody could have divorced you because of player like activity. And um, this was somebody, maybe a Cancer Scorpio or a Pisces. It could be anybody, but it does look like something is final. And then somebody starts to date other people um, and to see what else is out there. And in, until then, I just kind of feel like Virgos or cross watcher somebody is not going to be tolerating some player situations anymore um and i feel like some of you are going to start demanding to be treated with a little bit more respect otherwise i see some of you in situations in which a person is kind of juggling they're giving to this person and they're giving to that person but there's a primary person here um, if you are the primary person, this person loves you very much and they feel like, you know, you are the one no matter what they're doing. They feel like you are the one that, you know, they want to build their home with and um, who they want to build, you know, a relationship around and they could just be out creeping. All right. For others of you, you are the 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 girl on the side and this person wants you to be there for for long term like they want their wife. This is similar to the Scorpio reading. So you could be dealing with the Scorpio um, last month. All right. So uh, virgins, thank you so much for your views. I appreciate you and I love you so much. And um, let's finish this reading and find out what actions they're going to take, how they feel, what they want to say to you advice from Tarot and the outcome. All right. Thanks for watching and God bless.